This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about this app that I've created called Quick Reboot. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is download Quick Reboot. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be a link that says download Quick Reboot here. Once you click on that link, it should take you to my GitHub release page. And all you need to do next is look for the latest version, which is usually the first one on top. And just scroll down to see this first link here and click on it. It should start the download process. If you don't have this option here, that's probably because your assets tab is closed. And all you need to do is just click on this assets area and you should be able to see the download option here. Now, just a quick thing I want to say is that there is a version one of Quick Reboot and it will be up to you on which one that you want to use. Both of them do the exact same thing, except that in version one, once you click on the app, it automatically reboots the switch. And in version two, I added dialog like reboot to payload and it will say, you know, press this button to reboot or press this button to exit. So it will be up to you on which one you want to use, but we're going to be doing the version two for this video. And that's it. Now that we have it downloaded, we can have it move to the desktop and have it ready for file transfer. Okay, now we can go ahead and open up our SD card. And it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. Now my go-to is with Hecate. However, in this video, I'm gonna be using the DBI installer app with the FTP server. So with DBI, I'm gonna scroll down to where it says run FTP server. Now that my switch is ready to connect with Wi-Fi, I'm gonna do the same thing with my PC. So I'm going to open up a file explorer and then I'm going to click on this PC and then I'm going to click here. I don't know what this is called, this area, but I'm going to say it's the URL tab and you need to type in the FTP address from your switch. Since I already have it saved, I'm going to just go ahead and click on enter here and you should have access to your SD card. Okay, so now what we could do is extract the file from the zip. Now, I always use 7-Zip to extract all my files, so if you want to follow along with me, I'll leave a link to where you can download 7-Zip and then follow along with me after. But with 7-Zip, I'm going to right-click on the file and then extract here. should have an extracted file up here, highlight it, and then copy it to the switch folder. Let DVI do its thing. Once the file transfers over, you can go ahead and check to see if it's inside there. Click in the switch folder, and then it should have the Quick Reboot app now. So we can go ahead and click on one back. And for those of y'all that are Mariko users with the latest version of the chips that you have, we are done here the, with your SD card. You can now exit out of wherever you're at and go ahead and try out Quick Reboot for yourselves and see if it works out for you. But of course, if it doesn't, you can let me know. Now, this part of the video is for those of you that are unpatched switches and Arista users. So I guess V1 and V2, I guess you could say. Now here for y'all guys to use this app, you need to edit your SD card just one more time in order to get back into Hecate. So with that, you may know already that if you replace Hecate bin file inside the atmosphere folder with the reboot to payload uh, bin file, then you'll have the option to reboot back into Hecate in unpatched and things like that with using the reboot to payload. Same thing with my app here. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click on the atmosphere folder and you're going to look for the latest version of Hecate bin file, which is right now 6.0.5 at the time of this video. And you're going to want to put it inside this uh, atmosphere folder. Make sure it doesn't go inside any of the folders. It needs to be on the outside. And here you may see that it says uh, reboot underscore payload dot bin. What we need to do here is rename this uh, Hecate bin file to reboot payload. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and delete it. And then we're gonna go ahead and right click on this and rename this to um, reboot underscore payload, payload bit. And that's pretty much it. Now, those of you that have unpatched switches and Aristas, now your switch should be rebooted back into Hecate after using my app. So now that we're done with the SD card, we can actually close out and Check it out. I'm going to close out of the home menu, go back into it. And now you should have the quick reboot option here. So for those of you that have Mariko, which I'm using right now, once you click on the app, you'll see here that it says on the top, 
let me see right under here it says quick reboot and then it has the option if you want to reboot your switch press the minus button if you want to exit out of the app push the l button okay so i wanted to show you on real time that i'm using the oled mariko version i have the zelda edition so you can see that it has those designs of the zelda thing and if i push the l button it should take me back to the home menu go back into it and then quick reboot and then the next option here in the middle says press minus to reboot so if i push minus it should take me back to hecate so i wanted to show you this so that way you can see that in the mariko version it is working for me and i hope it works for you so that's pretty much it it's hard to push the buttons when you're looking at it from backwards there you go it's working for me and of course the same thing goes for um unpatched and, and version one switches and things like that all of them i guess you push minus to take you back to hecate so there you go now you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do with hecate but i just wanted to show you this app i thought it was pretty cool because i did not want to be uh pressing the home i mean the power button all the time to re restart or power off i didn't like doing that um i know that was a thing back in the day where the power button messed up and you had to replace it after so much use and things like that. I don't know if that's uh, still going on now, but I didn't want to be messing with this button here. So I made this app for Mariko users, but it just so happens that it works for all the switches as far as I know. So of course, if you want to try it out and it doesn't work for you, let me know and I'll see if there's anything that I could change. I am still learning. I don't really know much of, <laughs> of this kind of uh, scene but uh, this will be my second app and and i hope everything works for you so of course let me know if it does work for you as well and yeah thanks for everybody uh, watching and supporting this channel i really appreciate it and always i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one